Lebanon's new government has been in power for just one day, but people on the streets have already delivered their verdict. Protesters in downtown Beirut might be throwing stones at police, but their real targets are the leaders who've driven the nation's economy off a cliff. They push us to this point. We never uh, want uh, the violence. Ten weeks after Saad Hariri quit as Prime Minister, his replacement has finally won enough support from Lebanon's political factions to form a new cabinet. This is the first time Lebanon's had such a government in its history. It's a rescue team whose only role is to work hard and give all it has. The cabinet has the backing of Lebanon's powerful Hezbollah militia, an essential requirement for any government here, but protesters say it's just a new facade for the same old political players. After three months of family-friendly, peaceful protests, these latest riots are angrier and there are more casualties every night. We've been on the road for nearly three months now, 95 days, and like nothing happened. They're, they're still the same. They don't want to listen. Lebanon might have a new government, but it's not making things any better. In fact, the situation is getting worse every night, much more violent. There's a real feeling that Lebanon is slipping into chaos. Billions of dollars in international aid and loans has been pledged to Lebanon, but the cash won't be released until the new government tackles the corruption and financial mismanagement that brought the nation to its knees. The protesters have the same demands, just a more forceful way of delivering them. Adam Harvey, ABC News, Beirut.